you just been invited to a Halloween party and you know you got to come in costume. Decision is, do you want to be cute or do you want to be scary? Birgit, tell me why. <laughs> when I was growing up, I was always in dance recitals. So essentially, I was dressing up all the time. We had these little tutus. Even for tap, I never could figure this out. Even for tap dancing, they put us in a tutu when I was seven years old. And we did this, I still remember this. I am a coffee pot. Da, 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 da. I still remember part of that routine that's really infinitely scary. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I want to be scary. But the thing is, I grew up always having these cute little costumes for recitals. Well, the thing is, after a while, you couldn't drag me into a tutu anymore. Because the thing is, I never did the Little Princess Disney thing. First of all, because, you know, Belle and the Little Mermaid didn't exist. I'm totally dating myself. But the thing is, I was always dressed like that on stage anyway. So my favorite costume, actually, when I was a kid, wasn't all that scary. But it was anything but a princess. I was a hobo. I had all of these different patch patches. I had a cap and I had something slung over my shoulder, a little bag, so I was kind of walking along. That's got to be my absolute favorite costume. So the answer to the question is, I think I'd rather be scary. But the thing is, I think I'd rather dress up somehow so that people couldn't recognize me. Now, I don't like masks. I don't like the idea of pulling something over a mask. Because first of all, when you're wearing a mask, what ends up happening is you look like every other person that purchased the same mask. And I'm sorry, I want to be unique. So I don't want to really be wearing the mask. But you can be scary without being a mask. You could do the wild hair thing, right? You could have you know, the wild accoutrements. You could be scary. You could have horns. You could have Hell's Angels jackets. You can incorporate all of that. So I think I would really much, much rather come in there and be scary but see if I could somehow twist that a little bit to make sure that people don't recognize me right away. Because that way you can kind of sneak around and see what they're saying about you. Because <laughs> they think they're talking behind your back. And that's what really scares them when you say, hey, that's me. 